Welcome guys to Next Level Toys. This is intended for 14 and over. However, if you're seven years old, I just can't do nothing about that, can I? This is dedicated to the Hot Wheels American Scene set that we picked up, the Real Riders. We're actually going to open all five of these cool cars. Car Karcher. They all have rubber tires, a very nifty paint scheme. Let's start off with the C8R Corvette. This same paint scheme is really similar to the Matchbox Super that was released this past year that I was able to actually snap at this same Walmart store. So, fun facts for the today. Let's open this up. And, uh, see this car in person. This is an absolute beauty. We hope the camera will pick up the nice details of it. It is solid metal, black metal base, all metal frame including the bumpers, nice wing, all metal. It's an absolute beauty, you can see the inside of it. Love the red, white, and blue cars. So, uh, let's check her out here. Smooth as silk. Please let us know which one your favorite of this five car set is. And I'll let you know mine. 1969 Chevelle SS 396. I don't normally open these. Sometimes I do. But there's some cool cars in here. So that's why we're doing it. This is number two. Some grooves in these rubber tires, all metal. I don't see no plastic bumpers, they're usually all metal. That's what you get for almost seven dollars each now. I think they're like six and a half, seven dollars now. So everything has went up in price over the past six months. Still really nice cars. Got bigger tires and rims on the back for rally racing, drag racing. Black pinstriping. Ooh. I like the orange and black because it matches the racetrack. Now, for the only truck in the set, it's the Ford Bronco R. Kind of a turquoise looking paint job there. This is number three. I'm trying to be gentle with these, but some of them are not as gentle. Because we do collect the cards also. That took some effort. Uh, let's see here. This has got some big rubber tires on it. Metal on metal. Uh, we found some plastic. The tire in the back is plastic, but surprisingly the white is actually all metal. The frame itself is metal. The bumpers are metal. And uh, the roll cage inside is plastic. This is a pretty cool off-road vehicle though. This is nice. Got some really nice detail on it. Number 20. Connect be the year when this Bronco was released, 2020. I think that's probably what it could be forever. And the rims, the rims are pretty sweet. What do y'all think? I did give it a little extra shove, but it outruns the cars. Could be because of the bigger tires, but that's nice, nifty, nifty. Here's my favorite. This is the 2020 Dodge Charger Hellcat. I'm a sucker for green and black. This will definitely go in my display that we're working on. I'm gathering up all green and black vehicles. And we're gonna put them all together as we renovate our color scheme through the year. We'll no longer be red and black. It's gonna be 
green and black. We'll get that started somewhere around June, July. Maybe sooner, depending on how things go, but we got a lot of other stuff I'm wanting to do. Black metal bottom, black metal and green frame. This is beautiful. It's a Hellcat. This is my first actual Hellcat casting. It was worth every cent. Blacked out rims. It is just fantastic. Oh, it even sounds fantastic. Ooh, let's hear that again. That's beautiful. That's my number one in this set. Please let us know what your favorite is. Next is the Tesla Roadster. This is number five of the five cars. Oh, that came out very easily. This is Snazzy Wazzy. They all got the black on them, but uh, it's all metal. I've seen no plastic at all. Correction, all the top is plastic, but it's the glass. That's how they make Tesla. That's like a sunroof type of thing, moonroof. But the rest is metal. Don't know if you can see that, but right here is where the window cuts. So basically, the rest of that is plastic on the top part here. Very slick though. This is nice for Tesla. Some people don't like them because they're real quiet, but they are fast. I, I'll be glad to drive one. <laughs> I don't think I would let it drive myself by itself, but uh, that's another story. A little squeaky, but it does the job. And check out those cool headlights. Nice detail. It even says Tesla on the back. Please let us know which one your favorite is. Till then, thank you for watching Next Level Toys, and we'll be back ever again, again soon. And uh, happy hunting out there. Goodbye.